Hey, all my worthy viewers, it's me, JD Reviewmaster, and this is Worth of View Movies. And today I'm bringing to you a movie that's out on Amazon right now. It's an Amazon original. It's called The Tender Bar. And here to talk with me about it is Rob from Robbie's Reviews and the Fleming Film Show. Take it away, Rob. Hey, Justin. So, yeah, I watched The Tender Bar a couple of nights ago. Not a bad movie at all. But the one thing that stands out about this is Ben Affleck's performance. If there was no Ben Affleck, I don't think this movie would have been good. I'm not really big on George Clooney's directorial movies. I prefer him as an actor. But because I thought Midnight Sky was a lot more powerful and so was Monuments Men. But overall, I'll say it was fine. I'd say Ty Sheridan and Christopher Lloyd were awesome two standouts. But overall, I'm going to probably just give this one a 3.5. What did you think of it, J.D.? So 3.5 is like a WT and a half-ish. Yeah, that's pretty good. Uh, to hear what I have to think about it, let's head on over to YouTube, where I'm giving it a WT nine and a half-ish as well. Uh, so this movie is about a boy growing up in Long Island, and he's sort of seeking out his father's um, uh, uh, his father figures because his father's not around. He's uh, he's on the radio, and that's the only time that his, this boy can hear his dad is just on the radio because he's not around. Um, but what he does end up doing is he has his uncle, who is Uncle Charlie, played by uh, Ben Affleck, who is phenomenal in this movie. And, and just like you said, if there is no Ben Affleck, there is no real movie here, you know. Um, but yeah, the boy plays Jr. and he's sort of seeking out other father figures and. And um, uh, yeah, Ben Affleck's there to do it. And I really, really like the relationship that him and uh, JR had. Yes. The boy so, yeah. And, and Ben Affleck. Yeah. Bro. Yeah. Um, and then actually, the tender bar itself. What did you think about the production design of that tender bar? Well, the pub. Yeah. It was kind of fun. And it had yeah, uh, other elements. That, you know, there was like books on the wall that people can check out. It was like a library as well. Um, but I also think that the word tender really means something when it comes to that, because it is the boy is being treated so tenderly and gingerly there because he's 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 a boy. You know, he's not even 21. But uh, all all of these characters that surround him really, you know, enjoy him and, and, and love having him around. Um, uh, my girlfriend, when we were watching it, said that this sort of has a. Uh, um, a Wonder Years sort of feeling to it, which is the TV show. Uh, yeah. And I th thought that was true. But I also, Max Casella, I think, was a part of the Wonder Years, and he's in that movie. Um, but yeah, Ty Sheridan also stars in this. Uh, Max Martini is the guy who plays the voice, which is the dad. He doesn't even, we don't even call him dad. He's just the voice in this movie. Uh, directed by um, uh, George Clooney, like you said. And I do agree. I more appreciate his acting than I do his directing. Um, you know, Suburbia from a few years ago wasn't that good. Directing. I'm sorry? Even though you've worked with him when he's directing. Yeah, yeah, I've been directed by uh, George Clooney, no big deal, but uh, yeah, I, I like the man himself. Um, this is a screenplay which is uh, based on a memoir by William Monaghan, and so here's my whole question is, did we need this story? Does William Monaghan's story matter in at all? I mean... William Monaghan is a fantastic writer, though. Yes, he is. So this is sort of like... Um, uh the the memoir that was oh uh this is sort of like hillbilly elegy where it, it may be a little bit of a better better overall movie but it's it's just about a story of a guy who we don't know, don't know. Even found, care about him found hillbilly elegy a bit more interesting because of his like background being in like the rural wet rural america Sure. So then, so, but a lot of people were questioning, do we even need to know this guy's story? Why does it matter? Uh, but the thing about that, and just like this, is the supporting characters and the actors in that movie were so, so good. That's Ben, ben a or, yeah, that's Ben Affleck here. That is uh, uh, Christopher Lloyd. Ty Sheridan's Thank great. The, Lily Robb, who played the mother, is awesome. And then even the boy, uh -huh. Daniel... Rinieri is does a really really good job. So there, yeah. the supporting actors really do elevate this movie. Uh, I do wish that there was just something more for us to grasp onto, for us to hold on to. You know, an ending that maybe was was a little bit better. Um, I really enjoyed when uh, he was over at the uh, African American house, and the interaction that Ty Sheridan had with the mother was just so great. 
really, really good scene, really elevated the movie for me. Um, but uh, yeah, I, I think uh, so. Tonight is the um, Golden Globes. Uh, if you're watching this in the in the in the future, obviously you missed it or you already know. But Ben Affleck's nominated for best uh, supporting actor for his role in The Tender Bar. So we'll see what happens tonight for him. I don't uh, think but be Cody. Uh, yeah, we did that. Uh, our picks there uh, last week. Um, uh, but what I did hear somebody say uh, on Twitter about this movie is that uh, it hits home for people who didn't have fathers around, you know, uh, who had to look and seek out other father figures to sort of put, you know, it's mend that hole. Because I've known my dad all my life. Yeah, and same with me. You know, was my dad around as like a father? No, but if I had to go, if I had to run to somebody for something, he was there. But he's, he's not like he taught me how to like throw a baseball or shave or anything. He was, he kind of just did his own thing. But uh, so I do see that uh, it's heartwarming and heartfelt because people uh, who didn't have fathers growing up, they, they, they it hits home for them. Um, but I also heard a great joke that if you like uncle charlie in this movie it's because uh it's goodwill hunting uh ben affleck's character grown up and now he's an uncle <laughs> so oh, because uh, he's all chuck in that film so it makes yeah. sense yeah exactly so now he's all grown up and he's uncle charlie so uh yeah. but overall it looks like we we found this movie to be fine you know pretty solid overall the acting performances are better but we do want to see george Clooney more in front of the camera than behind it um but, but yeah can can stay behind the camera because i love him in the town and i'll go yes he's a great director as well uh all right rob well thanks for joining me on this episode of worth of you movies and for the watching the tender bar with me uh where can people find you you can find me at robbie's reviews got co.uk and obviously on the fleming film show on my youtube channel and me and you have just been joined by allison to talk about our best british actresses that's right. We had Allison on to talk uh, our, our five favorite uh, British actresses. So um, that's an, an interesting uh, episode. So go check that out on the Funding Film Show. Uh, yeah. And um, we'll do this again next month with another film. Um, but uh, until then, you have any last words about The Tender Bar? Uh, yes. Yes, I do. I do. Uh, at least Christopher Lloyd can still act for his age. Hell yeah. Yeah, he was in uh, Nobody this past year as well. So watch that one. Yeah, it's really good, and he's phenomenal in it. So go check that out. Check out the Tinder bar, you guys. It's definitely worth the view. Thank you for joining us, and we'll see you next time. See you next time, Justin. Bye, Rob. Thanks for joining me.